Hi, it's the 5th of June and I'm going to do a snake slow worm check but I brought my little trusty trowel because I want to so get some ant eggs. There's a slow worm up there, I don't know if you can see. But I can't see any snakes, there's a lot of fire ants. Now these fire ants have got lots of larvae. There we go. Now I don't really want the ants themselves, I just want the larvae. The eggs and the larvae, so... I don't get any on my hands because I don't want to get bitten. There we go. So, like I say, I can't get any eggs and larvae. So one slow worm disappeared. Got some uh, uh, fire ant eggs and larvae. Let's check on the other side. In the bucket round as well. So here we go. This is like the inside. Oh gosh, look, there's, there's the brass snake. You can see it over there. It's kind of a different size one to yesterday. And then there was one, two, three, four, four slow worms. A big grass snake, but it's a different one. So we've got, I think, a boy and a girl grass snake. There's one, two, three. There were four slow worms here, so five slow worms today plus a different grass snake today to the one that was around yesterday. I'm going to take these fire ant eggs as well. Let's just hope I don't get bitten. There we go, so got a bucket of ants and larvae and eggs. And uh, good slow worm and snake check today, cheers. Right, so what I've done is I've caught a lot of ants, <laughs> fire ants, and some eggs as well, and they're in this bucket. The fire ants are evil buggers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. Now all the stuff, all the debris will float on the surface, along with the ant eggs and larvae. So I'm going to tip some in here as well. So we've got a white cloud minnow. Oh, We've got white cloud minnow and we've got okay so i uh, did the slow worm and snake check and there was a different grass snake today so i think the other one's longer and it's got a thinner tail and today's is shorter with a thicker tail so i'm hoping it's a boy and a girl because there are babies in the field as well but whilst i was there i did a catch um some ants and get the ant larvae and eggs which is what's in the pond those white ones are the larvae and eggs and the other ones that are moving about they're the ants clearly and then there's some debris in there as well and it's the ant eggs and the ant larvae it's a feed to the fish they're high in protein and they're very good for your fish so if you get a chance if you see ants in your in your hat in your house in your garden or anything catch some ant larvae and ant eggs, that's what's in this pond as well, and feed them to your fish, and they're very good for your fish. Your fish, fish will gobble them all up, and uh, they're probably better than fish food because they've got more protein, and it's more natural to what they eat. I mean, obviously they don't get an ant's nest tip in their pond very often, but this one has. So, ant larvae, ant eggs, being fed to my indoor pond, this is the mostly barb pond it's got some paradise fish in as well and some ancestors which are bristlenose catfish it's extremely hot in this poly tunnel today and the other one is the uh, mostly live bearer pond but it's also got white cloud minnow in it as well i'm going to move away and i'll come back when they're feeding because if i stand over the pond they won't well there we go there's actually i say that and there's the uh, paradise fish are actually feeding off the top i just don't know i'm zoomed in it's so bright in here. There we go. And the other fish are coming to feed on them as well. They'll actually feed on the ants as well as the larvae. That's all the barbs. So long thin rosy barbs. Rosy barbs are desa barbs and black ruby barbs and the paradise fish. The ancestors just, they tend to eat algae and the pellets that sink to the bottom. You can see that they're going nuts, those fish, which is fantastic. Have a little seat over here. I'll bring you in in a sec when they're a bit busier. 
Okay, so they're still feeding. This is the barb pond, and they're all still feeding the barbs. Um, and I can sort of see the paradise fish down this end, and they're still feeding as well. The barbs are certainly making the most of it. Um, a bit later on, or tomorrow, I'll go along with a net and I'll just scoop off any debris that's on the surface because they'll have finished all the larvae and all the eggs by then <clears throat> and all the ants I mean there might be the odd ant that's still alive that's hanging about on a bit of pondweed but all the larvae and eggs will have been devoured by then which is good and uh, in the other pond I can see movement over there as well I should imagine it's going to be the white cloud minnow rather than the well, it'll be the white cloud minnow and the live bearers, but more so the white cloud minnow. Anyway, I just sort of bring you in to show you that uh, if you have got a problem with ants or if you've got a lot of ants in your field or garden, you can always feed them to your fish and the fish will love them. I should have given some to the goldfish as well, but I'm not going to go out and scoop some more up. I'll uh, give them some another time anyway. Feeding ant eggs and larvae to the indoor ponds. Cheers!